morning. Welcome to the Greater Des Moines Botanical Gardens. Uh, the rose garden that we're standing in is not what you call an ordinary rose garden. It's located in the front yard, as we call it, of the botanical garden. So this is one of the first gardens you encounter when you walk up to our front entrance. And if you know anything about roses, um, traditionally they're kind of the queens of the garden, but they're not known for their blooming throughout the, the year. So when I took over this garden five years ago, uh, my challenge was to make it interesting, exciting, uh, something for the visitors to, to want to come and see. I do this all organically, which means I don't use any harsh chemicals that would harm um, any beneficial insects, our visitors, um, our volunteers, or even myself. And I have close to 200 roses in this little area here, as you, can, as you see. I also uh, started interplanting my roses with uh, plants that kind of help benefit the, the roses. They uh, not only en um, enhance their beauty, uh, they also attract beneficial insects and pollinators to the garden. Our uh, main goal is to grow roses that you as a homeowner here in Iowa can grow with little effort. Uh, a lot of the roses that we use are Dr. Buck's roses. Dr. Buck was a uh, professor at Iowa State and his passion was to, uh, to create roses that were hardy for Iowa that were disease resistant and just beautiful plants. Uh, one good example of that would be this rose called Ursong. She's a very beautiful, kind of what you would think of as a traditional rose. Another uh, type of rose that we use a lot of uh, is a David Austin rose. This is an, a breeder out of England, David Austin. Um, his passion was also breeding roses that were disease resistant uh, beautiful and he was trying to bring back the old romance of roses. This is called the poet's wife. You see that old-fashioned just frilly look of the rose and if, you, if we had smell-o-vision, uh, which I wish we did, you would understand uh, what makes this, these roses so special. I wanted to introduce you to some of the bulbs that we use in the garden. Um, one that's very popular every year is this guy right here. This is called Allium shibuteri, or Schubert's onion. Um, this is an ornamental onion. It grows like from an onion that you eat, uh, but the difference is these are ornamental. Onions kind of deter pests from digging around rose roots, so they're kind of uh, natural companions. Another type of plant that we use here in the rose garden as a companion are vines. I use a combination of perennial vines and annual vines. Um, on this particular structure here, I've got a lot going on. I've got a, a climbing rose. I also have two different clematis varieties um, that are growing. As you can see, the white one is a traditional, what you think of as a traditional clematis. And then I've got the nice um, picture eye over here on the, the purple. Also, I have some annual vines. I've got sweet peas and I've got um, a morning glory that will be blooming later this season. We are very passionate about our gardening here and we like to uh, express that, uh, that passion with you. So please come and see us here at the Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden.